Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping ya. And today, I'm actually pretty excited because this is going to be my very first cyberpunk build video. Now, this build is not completed yet, but I've been rocking it my entire playthrough. I haven't really been doing the story at all. I've just been doing all the side stuff, and that's like the bulk of the game anyway. But I've been destroying with this. I've only been playing on very hard difficulty. That's another thing. I will show that as well, just in case anyone's like doubting it. But... This build just destroys everything. This is a pistol stealth slow motion build. That's the best way to really describe it, but it absolutely shreds. And there's really two different play styles. You can just try to be really sneaky and do a lot of stealth, and that works very well. But if you do get caught or if you want to have some fun, you can go in guns, glory, and still destroy. So it's super, super awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of gameplay just so you get the idea and then I'll go over like the most important things because to be honest with you a lot of this stuff I'm gonna have to show you where to get it just in case you don't know and that's probably gonna take up the bulk of the video. Alrighty well let's go ahead and start with some guns blazing gameplay and let me actually show this so you know it's on very hard difficulty but I'm gonna be using a lot of slow-mo here. I have slow-mo on my dodge which is pretty awesome. But also, I have slow-mo on my power, so I can do that as well. So basically, I just go ahead and run right in, go slow-mo, and just start wrecking everybody. I can activate my power. Now, the best thing about this power is you actually can move around, like, the battlefield. And, oh my god, it just allows you to get right up on them if they're in cover and just absolutely wreck them. I mean, yeah, this is pretty crazy. Now I'm going to go ahead and load my save at this exact spot. And I'm going to actually show you this other pistol that I've been using because this is a tech pistol. And I do think that using tech pistols are pretty awesome. And you're going to see like this thing can destroy groups. Now I knew I had to show this, but this is a little tricky. There are some perks that will make this like a lot better. I don't have those perks yet, so just keep that in mind. But... I'm going to go ahead and charge up this pistol, and then I'm going to activate my slow-mo. That's definitely the best thing to do if you can, but it can be kind of, like, annoying to actually do it. Just because it's kind of awkward. But, this tech pistol is insane. I mean, this thing just does crazy damage. Absolutely just destroys, like, these guys. So, I really love this gun, too. But... Essentially, what I like to do is I have my stealth weapon, and then I have my combat weapons. And both of the pistols that you were seeing here are my combat pistols. So now I'm going to show you some stealth. Now my stealth pistol will always be a magnum. This is actually really overpowered, because what you can do is you can actually aim for the body with this thing. That's how powerful it is. And you combine that with the fact that you can use the slow-mo. And the slow-mo is actually amazing for stealth. I will cover that in a little bit. But I'm just going to aim for the body. I'm not going to try to headshot these guys. I will try to headshot the last one. Just because of the double damage on the last bullet. Let's try to get that. There it is. 182,000 damage. Now, level plays into that, obviously. But it's pretty ridiculous. But like I said, you don't actually have to aim for the head. You can just aim for the body and you will just destroy everybody. And the slow motion is amazing with trying to do stealth. Now for my final example, I'm going to be one-shotting a Cyber Psycho, which are basically bosses in this game. And this is still on very hard difficulty. I wanted to make that clear because this pistol I have, this is nothing like fancy. It's not an iconic weapon. It's not a legendary. It's a purple. It's just a normal purple I found. This thing is busted, but it's really just the fact that the pistol builds are just so strong, especially when you combine it with the slow motion and all the damage perks that you can get with stealth and everything else. But I'm going to go ahead and get to the final shot. And if I open up the door, go into slow motion, aim for his head, obviously. And there you go. That is consistent, by the way. I can do that against a lot of the different cyber psychos, just flat out one shot them with this gun. But also, I can one-shot them with stealth if I can hit them, like, and actually get the stealth shot off, but that's actually kind of difficult. Alrighty, so now I'm going to break down this build, 
and I'll tell you everything that you need to know about it. And I'll actually show you also how to get a lot of this cool stuff that I'm using for the build. Now, first things first, I gotta say, I look ridiculous. They really need to do something about this because throughout my entire playthrough of this so far, I don't think not once have I ever looked cool. I look like a ripoff Joker right now. I mean, it's pretty bad. They need to really address this because I think that it's really funny, but it's quite outrageous that you look so stupid as you play. But let's go ahead and now talk about this. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wondering about this particular pistol because I one shot at a cyber psycho. Like I said, it's super consistent. I've done it actually a, a lot of different like times. And one of the reasons is, and I knew this thing was going to be ridiculous when I got it, is because of the damage stat. Now remember, damage will scale off a of level. So if you could find like a weapon that is around your level, that's good. I don't know what level this weapon is. I wish the guns would actually tell you what level they are. Because they will tell you if you can't equip it. They'll say, can be equipped at like level 30, for example. And you know, okay, well this is a level 30 weapon then. Where once you actually can equip it or you're the right level, you can't see what level the gun actually is. So it's hard to actually judge, like, is it like way under leveled or is it like, you know, just my level? I don't know, actually. So that is something. But I knew that this thing was going to be ridiculous because it has... 400 to 10 to 501 damage. That's insane. Now, another thing about this, which is something I've noticed with these tech pistols and revolvers, is that they can actually come with this particular perk. And I'm not sure if these, like, extra perks show up later on in the game. I don't remember them being there when I first started out. So I do want to point that out. But if you actually look, the reason why this thing is so good is because it fires two rounds at once. So that basically doubles the damage. I mean, that's just the way it is, right? But it also decreases the rate of fire. So that's something else. And if you can't tell, I don't have the full potential, which I think with this particular gun, that would basically mean I can charge it up and do the actual tech part of it, which honestly, I don't care about that. I really don't care about that, at least with this gun. If I want to use a tech gun, I got this one, which is also ridiculous. Both of them are tech revolvers. I wish I knew a way of getting like this consistently. I really don't. If somebody knows, like maybe a shop sells it, leave it in the comment, please. Because I also would like to go and try to buy it if possible, if I can find a really good one again. And if there's a legendary out there that is being sold, definitely let me know. Because I definitely want to get this particular gun. Because it is just super, super good. Now, besides this one, like I said, this Quasar, this is also extremely great. Now, the thing about this one, I do know that you can get a legendary for this from a side quest. I don't know which side quest it is, but you can get a legendary for this. But it's like a one-time deal, so just keep that in mind. Honestly, I'm going to probably end up crafting a lot of this stuff once I can actually do that. So, that's something. But this one is also extremely good. This is like a little shotgun. If you actually look at the attacks per second, it's really high. Now, there's actually another tech pistol that I really like as well, and that particular one you can buy. There's a shop that sells it, and by the way, the shops, if you don't know, if you're just starting out, the shops do reset, and if you have already bought, let's say, a legendary from the shop, you can buy the legendary a second time or a third time. That's really awesome. Now, another thing I also want to say is that there is an infinite money glitch right now. Take advantage of it do it there's two of them there's one from a mission which is something you can miss and it's actually kind of like further in the story which i'm not even there i've done like no story and then there's another one where you can basically just get soda cans and break them down i'm not going to show you how to do it but if you want to know how to do it just look it up there's plenty of really good videos about it and it's really great definitely take advantage of the money exploit while you can because you can buy a lot of really cool stuff, including weapons and cyberware, which is really, really important for this. Now, let's actually talk about this bad boy magnum I have. This one is a legendary. You can buy this. This is the Overture, which honestly, there's two different magnums that you can buy, which is great. And they're legendary. And the thing is, is that both of them are extremely good. It's kind of hard to say which one is better. I kind of think this one is better. 
and I will be showing you how to get both of them, and I'll show you how to get that tech pistol. So I will point that out in a moment. But this gun is crazy. One reason why I think this one is better than the other one is because of its stats. Its stats are pretty crazy. It always comes with ridiculous crit chance and crit damage. It's kind of outrageous. And also, these magnums, they have the bonus ricochet damage, which, to be honest with you, I wasn't using ricochet at first, or at least I wasn't taking advantage of the ricochet, because I didn't really understand how it worked. Once I started actually using ricochet, I realized, you know, it's a lot easier to hit targets if you have ricochet. So that's something I have noticed, which is kind of a problem early on, is I did have problems at times aiming with the magnums, trying to do stealth and all that. It was kind of annoying. Also, the headshot multiplier can be just crazy on these. It really can be. So let me go ahead and now show you where to get these weapons. Now, it just so happens that two of them, the tech pistol and then the first magnum, you can actually get them very, very early. Now, the very first magnum is actually in the very first place that you kind of start off, which is Watson. If I actually zoom in, there is a spot. It's up here where this weapon shop is, and there's going to be also... A fast travel station like right there next to it and there are also some ripper docks which i'm going to be talking about them in a moment but this is where you can get the other magnum which is very good it's called the nova i believe it's really really good i would recommend that as well and that's kind of what you do you want to have a magnum for your stealth option that's just the reality of it it's going to be like one shot body shot guys with the pistol build it's pretty crazy now the tech pistol, which I was talking about, which you can't see, I really like it a lot. It's one of my favorite guns. And this is actually going to be in Westbrook, Japantown. And it's up here where there's this one weapon shop. If I zoom in, there's also a fast travel station like right there. You can buy it from this guy. It's a very awesome gun. And like I said, the way that you play with the build, at least the way that I play with it, and I would recommend, is to have your stealth gun and you use that for your stealth. And if you actually have to fight and you're no longer in stealth, you can switch to a combat weapon, which I like the tech guns. I really like the tech pistol you can buy at this shop. And I definitely like these tech revolvers that I have right now, which unfortunately, I don't really know any consistent way of getting them. But they are extremely good to look out for. Now, the next thing I'm going to point out is actually going to be the Magnum that I'm using because it's extremely powerful. And this is going to be further south. You can come here pretty early on and this is in Santa DeMonaco which is actually down here and then there's a weapon shop there's a ripper doctor which I'm going to be talking about that one as well but this is where you can find the magnum that I'm using the overture so that's how you get those weapons they're all extremely good but I do have to say I need to talk about the cyberware and that's going to be a lot of stuff because the cyberware is really what makes your build up besides obviously your stats and stuff, which that's not nearly as important. The armor, I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm really not. I mean, to be honest with you, I have gotten lucky with like armor that comes with like these legendary mods in them and I want to actually be able to break them down and retrieve those mods because I mean, those mods are great. You get crit chance, crit damage. Those are awesome. But honestly, that's kind of what dictates my outfit is depending on the mods that it comes with and also depending on the armor. That's about it. So there's really nothing special. There's no like super secret way of getting some like great armor, at least for me right now. Like I said, this build is not 100% complete. I might make another video where I'm like totally done with it and I can really show it off and really break it down. But now, let's talk about the cyberware because this is stupid important. Now, the most important thing, in my opinion, is your ability to slow down time, which you activate this by hitting L1 and R1 at the same time. This will replace your, like, hacking ability. It's the breach protocol. You lose that, including the way of getting money with that, which, at first, I thought the game glitched. Like, I actually put this on for the first time when the new patch came out. And it was so funny because I was running around going, man, this stupid patch made it so all of those red hack things just disappeared. And I started telling my friends about it, too. And they're like, man, that's crazy. It's not that didn't happen to me. And then I realized, oh, my God, it's because I switched off and I don't have the breach protocol anymore. 
So you do lose that, but I think this is just much better anyway. And remember, money-wise, it's not a problem if you do do the infinite money exploit, which you should, because a lot of this stuff is very expensive. It's going to cost you a ton of eddies, so you need eddies. But this particular one is super good. Now, be careful because there are multiple versions of this. The one I have, in my opinion, is the best one because it actually has a cooldown of 15 seconds on it. So some of them will have a longer duration and they will have a 30 second cooldown. And some of them will give you more damage stats, but they have like a crappier duration and a longer cooldown. I think this one's the best one because I rather have the shorter cooldown. I don't care that it's 12 seconds. That's kind of whatever to me because, I mean, that's more than enough time. Plus, I do have this other thing on, which this actually gives me a two second bonus. I'm assuming there might be a legendary to this, which would be three seconds. That would be great. But this one gives you a two second bonus. There's also ones that give you the one second bonus. So you can use that as well. And I do like this for this particular slot because... This works for both my dodge and my power, which I can slow down time. So it affects both of them. That's extremely good. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to get this particular one. But also I do need to mention the mod I have in here because this mod is absolutely crazy good. This is something that you got to get. This allows you to activate it and then the enemies take 70% more time to notice you while it's active. So this is so perfect because I initially wanted to use this for stealth because I thought, man, it's going to be a lot easier if I could slow down time to do stealth. And then I found this mod. I was like, oh, my God, that's so perfect. So that's just amazing synergy that you can do. So I'm going to show you how to get all this stuff right now. So let's start with actually the power where you have to hit L1, R1. That is going to be located actually up in Watson, I believe. So you can get this like right away when you start the game. Actually, I guess you can't just because you probably don't have the reflex. So, you know, that is something. And by the way, if you do need to use like a blue or green for a while, if you're just starting out, that's fine. And eventually work your way up to the legendary. But up here, there is a shop. Actually, I take that back. It is not in Watson. It's in Westbrook, I believe. Let me take a look. Yes, it is. So, this particular one is going to be here. This is kind of confusing because when you look at it, there's only one Ripper Doctor, but there's actually two Ripper Doctors here. And there's also some prostitutes, so that's a way that you know. And there's two prostitutes here. I think these are the only two prostitutes in the game, at least the only two I've found so far. But anyway, the one you're looking for is actually this one on the right. This is the one you want to go to to actually get the power. And like I said, there are different versions of this power you can get, but the one with the less cooldown, I think is the best one because you can also buy another one from Victor, which that one's not bad. It gives you like 16 second duration, but it has the 30 second cooldown. So I'd much rather have a 12 second duration with a 15 second cooldown. So this is definitely the one you want to go and get. Now, when it comes to the mod, the mod is great because the mod will actually come from a guy which is going to be down here which this is in the city center okay so let me zoom out and there is a ripper doctor right here and you can buy the mod from him and obviously any of these doctors you should always check them out see what they're selling because i don't remember every single place i got like every single like cyberware but i do know that's the place that you want to go ahead and get that now let's actually talk about this other slow down time which is when you dodge now the thing with the pistol is that there are perks that will allow you to shoot while dodging and it will also allow you to dodge while aiming the thing is is that you probably do not need those perks you can skip them if you're going to use this because basically this automatically allows that and this allows you to do it with any weapon so that is something but and here's another thing the legendary for this gives you 90% slow time, which is ridiculous. It really slows time. And it's also for 3.5 seconds. If you combine it with this thing, it adds another 2 seconds. So it's like 5.5 seconds. That's actually really nice. This is great for whenever you are fighting and you do not have your power going. 
So using your power is amazing. It just destroys everything. If you're doing stealth, if you're just going in guns blazing, it's great. But when you don't have it and you're waiting for the 15 seconds, this really can come in clutch, okay? It really can. It only has a five second cooldown on it. This is really, really good. The 90% though, I gotta be honest, it's super strong. So if you're using something slower, it can feel like an eternity before you can fire like more than like once. Like really, you can maybe get two shots off with like the Magnum, for example, just because it fires so slow. So a like faster firing gun is a lot better with this. So I do want to say that. Now you can get this and you can get the purple version of this for the increased duration at the same Ripper Doctor. So let me go ahead and show you that. Basically, I pointed this guy out before, but it's right next to where that Magnum is, basically. So down here, let me go ahead and find it again. So here's the Ripper Doctor right there, and this is where you find the Magnum that I'm using right now. And this is once again in Santa DeMonico, and this guy. He's selling both the Dodge ability to slow down time and also the duration, so you can increase the duration. So that's how you get that. And let's see. I mean, honestly, everything else is like kind of whatever. I will say one thing that is important, I guess, is actually like if you're going to be using Magnums, they're going to be power weapons. So they're going to ricochet. It's actually really nice. If you can get the legendary like ricochet, it allows it to ricochet like, well, it allows the bullets to ricochet twice, I guess. I don't really know. But this is definitely like better than the purple one, for example. So get this. Now, one thing I've noticed, by the way, is that I didn't really notice the bullets ricocheting properly until I actually put in the green mod for my eyeball, which allows me to preview the ricochet. So I don't know, like maybe the bullets were ricocheting by just having the thing equipped because you have to have like your hand in there to even allow the bullets to ricochet. But I didn't really notice it until I actually put the green mod in. Now, I do want to talk about, you know, how to get like the hand. But also, I will point out how to get these crazy, crazy mods. Because these mods are nuts. Now, I don't know if they stack. That's something I'm just not 100% on. But you can actually buy these from Victor, okay? I probably don't need to show them again, but I will probably. But you can buy these from Victor. And these are very good. And once again, his inventory will reset. So if they do stack, you can buy three of them if you really wanted to. I mean, that's kind of crazy. So, And also, I do have to talk about this. This is another one. This is heal on kill. Definitely very good. It's a reflex thing. I mean, that's something you definitely should be doing. You should be leveling up your reflex like to max it out. This is definitely not bad. So I'm going to show you how to get basically all this stuff. Now, the hand, I'm not 100% on. I guess I'll also show you how to get this. I mean, this is this is actually a shoulder-like piece. I like it, but it's not, like, super, super important. So, let's actually break this down now. So, I'm going to start with Victor. If you, I already pointed him out before. I'll point him out again, just because it's pretty easy. So, Victor is right next to, like, your apartment. So if you want, you have to pay off the debt. That's one thing. You do have to pay off his debt. Once you've done that, then he will sell some cool stuff. Like I said, he could sell like the power, but don't buy it because I don't think it's as good. The one I showed where to buy it, that one's way better because the cooldown is way better. But those mods are great for the headshot damage. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you want the hand, I'm not 100% on that one. I think it's either one of two places. It's either down here in Santa DeMonico, which is on the very, this is at the very bottom of this area. There's a Ripper Doctor and there's also a gun shop down here. It could be there. And if it's not there, I believe it's actually up where you can get the first Magnum I talked about, which is the Nova. That Magnum is super, super good. I think it might be up here. So that is something, like maybe. I would check them both, but you definitely want to have the ricochet hand thing. If you're going to be using magnums, get it. It really does help a lot once your bullets start ricocheting. I just find it a lot easier to hit the enemies now. 
Now, if you want the shoulder, I'm pretty sure the shoulder is sold by this guy down here. So, there you go. And the other thing was the whole heal on kill thing. I believe that is this guy here. I'm going literally off of memory for all this stuff. But, like I said, this is how you get all the cool cyberware. This is, like, the important things for the build. The main thing, of course, is the slow down time stuff. That's super, super important. But, man... It's so, so worth it. Now, all this is expensive, but go and do your money glitch and get this stuff. Now, when it comes to all of the stats and, and everything like that, the truth is, start with reflexes. Just max it out if you can, or at least get it really high. Then start putting points into cool. Then start putting points into your technical ability. That's what I would recommend. Now, the reason why you want to do it in this particular way is because the handgun perks are just amazing. This is why the handguns are so good. I have not used Assault. I haven't done Melee really yet. I haven't like really dived into it like enough to really make a final judgment. What I'm going off is just what I looked at initially. I read all the perks, and I immediately knew that the handguns were going to be really, really strong. Now, if you compare like some of these perks to like the Assault perks, a lot of them are conditional, where you have to be standing behind cover, or you got to be standing still. The handgun perks are pretty straightforward. You don't have to do any of that. And there are some really, really good ones, like getting the double damage on the final shot. That's extremely good. I showed that in the gameplay on how you can take advantage of that. It is kind of broken, especially when you have, like, low-capacity revolvers that are stupid strong. Same with, like, this perk, which... After you get a headshot, you get 25% more crit chance. That's great. The final perk is also just crazy. I don't have it yet. You have to get like 20 in your handgun for the actual skill itself. But after you get a crit hit, you get increased armor and damage 30% for 5 seconds. That is absolutely insane. And there's some really, really great perks here. Now one thing I will point out though is this whole acrobat and then there's another one which i didn't grab this one because i didn't really see the point basically here's the deal like i said if you're going to use the slow down time when dodging which is really really good it automatically allows you to aim and to dodge and do fire and to dodge so you really don't need these perks it's kind of a waste same with this whole like holster thing. I kind of thought like this seemed kind of like a waste. Like do I really care about drawing my gun and holstering it? Probably not. And in fact, even reloading. It's definitely more useful, but you can maybe even skip this. So that's kind of how I feel about most of the perks with the pistol. Everything else though, get. Every other perk, stupid, stupid good. Now, the other thing is cool. Cool actually has stealth and cold blood. Both are extremely good. Now, I'll be honest with you. At first, I wasn't a big fan of stealth. I really wasn't into it. But I got to admit, now that I've really gotten better and on top of it, I also have like the slow down time. Man, stealth is stupid, stupid good. And the stealth tree is actually really nice now there's some great passives here one just gives you 15 percent more damage against human enemies that's amazing you also get the crit chance while sneaking this one it really has not much to do with stealth but it's great basically if you're gonna die it gives you a bunch of damage uh, reduction really really great now a couple perks that i think are very helpful one is actually boosting your movement speed when you are detected because I believe that kind of means when they kind of see you. They don't have to like, you don't have to be in full combat. So one of the nice things is you can actually kind of move out of the line of sight. And especially when you're in your slow-mo. So they kind of see you, but they don't see you yet. You can kind of move out of the line of sight and you get that amazing movement speed. Also just, you know, having more like detection, being decreased. Remember, we have the mod with the slowdown. Definitely get that because it really helps you not get caught. Now, you can get more than one of those mods, by the way. I actually do have two of those mods, but I don't think that stacks. I did do some testing with that, and I don't think you can combine them to get like 140% or 
10%, I mean, that would be crazy, right? Like, literally, you could probably be right in their face and they will not see you. And here's another thing. I don't really aim for the head. So do you really need the sniper perk? Probably not, you know? But also, this is an amazing perk here, too. When you enter combat for seven seconds, you get 50% crit chance. That is insane. There is a lot of really, really great perks that you can get in the stealth tree. Now, in my opinion, though, the cold blood tree is even better. Like, I love cold blood. This is amazing. Essentially, the way that this works is that you get the first, like, little perk. And what you can do is when you get kills, you're going to get stacks. And basically, that's it. And then everything else revolves around those stacks. You can get a lot of cool stuff like reduce the recoil and you can also get more stacks. So that's really good. And also getting critical hits can give you a stack of cold blood. There's another one that if you're like, you know, going to die, you get full stacks automatically. That's really great. You know, there's some really, really great perks here. But I mean, I think that cool and reflex that's like the priority because there's so many good things that you can get then afterwards technical ability now the reason for this is because crafting is great if you're doing the infinite money like exploit you do want to get this to seven as soon as possible because you definitely want to get this workshop this really helps for doing the exploit but the thing is is that one thing i've noticed as well i do want to quickly mention this if you are going to do the exploit, I've noticed people talking about it. They're not actually talking about the best way of doing it, which is you go and you get the soda cans, which there's one particular spot that's super, super good. I was thinking about making a video myself, but I don't know about that. But anyway, there's one particular spot that's really, really good. You go there, you collect the cans. Then what you do is you actually craft. You can craft a sniper rifle. There's a green sniper rifle. That's actually better than just selling the components. A lot of people are just selling the components. Don't do that. Craft this green sniper rifle. I think it's automatically like you. I don't know if you have to unlock it or not. I really don't. But the point is, is that just craft this. It's worth a lot of money. Okay. It's worth a lot of money and you're going to actually make way more money selling this thing. But you also get experience for your crafting skill. So that's also really, really nice. So keep that in mind. Now, engineering. I haven't really touched this yet, but I plan on doing it. Okay, for the final version of this build, I really like these tech pistols. There is some crazy, crazy, amazing perks here for the tech weapons. So, I'm not even going to go over all of them, but man, there is so many good perks here for tech weapons that I'm definitely going to get my engineering like up by a lot. So... Overall, for the entire build, this is what you want. You want to start with the reflexes, get cool, get technical ability, and you should be basically good to go. Now, there's one last thing. I did just remember this. I wanted to actually bring this up, and I forgot. And that is actually another cyberware that you can get. I don't actually have it because I decided not to get it because basically I had a choice between either this to give me the increased duration or there's another one that can slow down time when you are detected by enemies when you're sneaking. Now remember, this is kind of a hybrid build where we can either fight and it's fine. And we can dodge to slow down time. We have our power to slow down time. We have all that. So I definitely like this for that two second duration. I think it's great. But the other one is also really good if you're sneaking. It can really save you because you get that slow down time. The legendary gives, I believe, 50% slowdown time for like 3.5 seconds or something like that. So it gives you enough time to actually like kill the guy who sees you. So that's pretty cool. If you want to get that one, I'm going to go ahead and show you where you could find that. It's actually on the opposite side of where you get the power that I showed. So I think it's in Westbrook. Yeah. It's where the prostitutes are, remember, and then if you zoom in, there's the two Ripper Doctors. This is where you get the good power. Remember, do not buy the one for Victor. And this is where you will find the stealth, where I think that's pretty good. So if you want to maybe get that, that is something I will say I do think is good. But I prefer the two-second duration. I just do. 
Alrighty guys, well, that's gonna pretty much do it for the video. I really wanted to make this because I wanted to give you guys a heads up on my build that I'm doing. I might make a second video once I have it fully complete and it's like totally maxed out and I'm at the end game. I might make that video, but one of the nice things is I'm gonna be able to point to this video if you need to know on how to get like some of the cool cyberware or where to find like the pistols and stuff because I kind of foresee myself probably continuing to use the same pistols unless there's like some iconic pistols that I can get that's way better I don't really know but as of right now I definitely really do like my setup now it's a shame that I don't know how to get like the two tech revolvers but I'm telling you that tech pistol I showed you that's a really good gun and also both of the magnums are extremely good they can carry you through the game they really can't so if you are looking for a build that you can work towards, especially if you're just starting out, this is something you can definitely do. And if you can do the infinite money exploit, do it. Try to like buy some of the cool cyberware. Even if you can't like equip it right away, just go and buy it. Get it out the way because you definitely want to get like some of the really great cyberware for slowing down time, especially. That's your priority. Alrighty. Well, I would really appreciate it if you could like this video for me. It definitely helps me out. And also subscribe if you want to see more cyberpunk videos. I will be coming out with more videos. So definitely subscribe and click the bell if you want to stay notified. That's really important. Thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out.